I'm Michael. And today we're going to share with you the best marriage advice that we've ever received. Michael, what's the best marriage advice that you received? It was at my bachelor party. Not really much of a party, really just me and some of the guys from church we went to Top Golf while I was in Dallas. And the best marriage advice I received was from a guy who had been married a couple of years and he mentioned to me that you need to do what's best for your marriage and what worked for you two as a couple. What he meant by that was that a lot of times people will give you unmerited advice. Uh, or they'll just give you advice, um, kind of give you their opinion. And they'll say, as a husband, you need to do this. As a wife, you need to do this. As a parent, you need to do this. And while advice is oftentimes well-intentioned, sometimes that advice may not be the advice that works for your particular relationship and your marriage. There are people who I know that have great marriages and um, things are going well. But if I did what the husband did to his wife, it just wouldn't work for us. You have to figure out what works best for you two as a couple and realize that when it comes down to it, your marriage is your marriage. You don't have to subscribe to any preconceived notions on what society says you have to do or have to be in order to be a successful spouse. You really just need to ask your significant other, what do you want? How can I serve you and go from there and figure out ways in which you can be the best spouse that you can be? I love that. I mean, especially coming from our channel where what we do is try and provide resources from what helps our relationship. At the end of the day, you still have to do what works for you. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Yeah, what about you, babe? What was like the best marriage advice you ever received? I don't remember who gave it to me. I don't remember where it was given. All I remember is hearing that you need to approach one another as friends. Whether it be uh, in everyday life, whether it be um, in a regular conversation, or it be in an um, argument, mm -hmm. no matter what, approach one another as friends. Here's why. When you see your spouse as an enemy, you're more likely to call them names, you're more likely to do things that hurt them, you're more likely to lie, you're more likely to just do things that friends wouldn't do towards one another. For instance, if you were best friends with someone, there's absolutely no reason why you feel like you should lie to them. There's absolutely no reason why you should be sneaking behind your friends back because they're your friend. If I consider Michael my best friend, um, and because he's my best friend, I know, and because he's my best friend, I don't want to do anything that hurts him. There are disappointments in relationships and marriage, and anytime that I disappoint him, um, I, I'm, I'm not really defensive in a way that I used to be, like for instance when we were dating. I don't try and defend myself or anything more, more than anything. I try to apologize and make sure that Michael knows that I love him and I care about him and I want to make him happy and I want to serve him. It's just so important to approach one another as friends so that you're not going around hurting each other but you're doing everything in your power to serve one another and to love one another. Those were our biggest takeaways from before we got married and after being married for a couple of years, that's what's really given us the ability to, you know, have a great relationship and a great marriage. Nothing's ever perfect, right? But I can honestly say that Amanda and I have never had some like huge blowout in which we were mad at each other for days at a time or we were throwing things across the room or anything like that never considered like the board or so like and it was it's always been a great relationship. The main reason why is because we put Jesus Christ first in our relationship and we rely on him to guide us. That's the biggest reason. Uh, but this practical advice is definitely helpful as well. We hope that this advice helped you. We hope that you find what works for you. And we hope that in your relationship you always approach one